Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to connect the Nano 7 to Field Genius for Android. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it as a data collector internet network rover. And what I'm gonna do to begin here is I'm gonna click on select instrument on the left side of the screen. That's gonna open up my Bluetooth pairing options here. I'm gonna click on add profile in the bottom right corner. And as I said, I'm gonna add a GNSS rover. So and for me here, I'm gonna select TalkNav from the list. And then my model I'm going to want to make sure is set to the T10 Pro. Once I have that selected here, I'm gonna hit create. I'm then going to click on setup communication to initialize my Bluetooth connection. I'm gonna make sure my connection type is set to Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna click on search to look for my Bluetooth devices. What I'm looking for here is a Bluetooth name that is the same as the serial number on the bottom of my receiver. Once it appears here, I'm going to select it and then click on connect. Once the Bluetooth connection is initialized, I'm going to get this message asking me to pair it. I'm going to hit yes to pair. Once it's complete here, I'm going to be brought back to that main setup screen where I'm going to click on setup corrections here. As I said, I'm going to be doing an RTK via internet and I'm going to be using data collector internet. So if I hit set up internet here, I'm going to make sure it's set to data collector and hit OK. And then the final thing I need to do here in the screen is actually choose my network options. So I'm going to hit set up data source here and I'm going to choose my first end trip option here. If you want to know how to set up your own end trip connection, I'll put a video down below. But once I have those two selected here, I'm going to and I'm going to click on continue here to finish the connection here. And once that's complete, it's going to ask me to choose my source. Now I'm using our Chinook network in town here. So I'm going to choose the Calg underscore West as that is the box directly above my desk here. So I'm going to select that one and click on select in the bottom right corner. And that's going to ask me a couple of different options on my mount point. I'm going to leave them as the default options here and click on confirm. Again, once that's complete, I'll be brought back to the main screen here where I can now set up my antenna height. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a measured height of 1.5 meters and I'm going to say that is to the bottom of my antenna mount. Once I have that entered here, I can click on OK. That'll set my antenna height. I can then choose a tolerance that I'm going to be using for my fixed modes. In my case, the RTK fixed topo is more than fine for what I will be doing today. So I'm going to leave that as is and click on OK. Okay, once I click OK here, I'm going to scroll down and the final option here is tilt correction. Right now it is disabled. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on enable. That will turn on my tilt sensor. You can see that I need to calibrate my tilt sensor, but I'm actually using a re-rating kit indoors. So I'm not going to be able to calibrate it, but that is fine for today's video. So I'm going to click on done here and head to my survey screen. And you can see in the bottom right corner there, I have an RTK fix and a IMU option going back and forth. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you set up the Nano 7 as a network rover on data collector internet. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.